Tyler Barry's steamy thriller, Mia Culpa, make you thought you had it all figured out? Think again, because this ending will leave you questioning everything. So did Zaire actually murder his girlfriend? The answer might shock you. No, he didn't lay a finger on her. In fact, his girlfriend Heidi isn't even dead. Turns out Heidi faked her own death, and the real scandal? She's been getting cozy with Zaire's paintbrush wielding charms behind the back of Mia's brother in law, Ray the assistant DA. But it gets even crazier. Ray, the ambitious politician in the making, decided to cook up a murder box to boost his viral campaign. And get this his own mom, Azalea, is in on it, faking cancer for a sympathy vote. Now, Mia caught up in the whirlwind of the seat and the crossing paths with Heidi in the Dominican Republic of all places. But before she can spill the beans, Mia finds herself in a showdown with Ray and Azalea, resulting in a chaotic car chase straight out of an action movie. But the real shocker comes when it revealed that Cal, Mia's husband, isn't the hero we thought he was. No, instead of calling for help, he is in cahoots with Ray, leading to a heart-stopping crash that leaves a trial of destruction in its way. In the end, justice prevailed, with Ray getting his cameo pants thanks to a clever anonymous tip off from Mia and Zaire. Oh, well, he's out of the book, free to pursue his artistic endeavors and maybe even a sequel worthy romance with Mia. Speaking of sequels, while well, nothing's confirmed yet, the door is wide open for more twists and turns in the world of Mia Kalba. Will Sire continue to pursue Mia? Will Ray face the consequences of his actions? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. Mia Kalba is streaming now on Netflix, and who knows, we might just be in for another thrilling chapter sooner than we think.